Most people are surprised to find out that Jeff Bezos studied electrical engineering and Elon Musk studied physics. And what separates them from other business people and entrepreneurs and CEOs is the fact that they apply their scientific thinking to how they build companies. So in this video, I want to break down what makes them far better than everyone else in the game of business and how they achieve their billionaire status and how that keeps them ahead of everyone else. And if you're someone who's studying engineering or physics and you're thinking about starting a company, then I have amazing news for you because this video is going to say you're on the right track. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that business is nothing short of problem solving. Business is really just a game of problem solving on steroids. The whole idea of a business that exists is to solve a problem for a certain customer or a client and in return that client or customer pays the business. In other words, you are solving a problem and as a reward for the solution, you're getting paid, you're receiving a profit. That really is what business comes down to. And from an engineering perspective, that means that business is really just another game of inputs, outputs, process, feedback, efficiency, variables. And if you can apply that same engineering thinking to business, it becomes crystal clear. Also, another thing that helps engineers in the game of business is the idea of systems thinking. For example, there are different components to the business and different systems. One is the marketing, one is the sales, and one is the product. And within the product, there's the fulfillment, there's the retainment. So you can kind of categorize things into block diagrams and break things down, which again, engineers are very good at doing. If you have a strong engineering background, you understand that any problem can be solved regardless of the domain. For example, if you're not able to get many clients, that means you have a client acquisition problem, which means the problem you need to solve is how do I acquire more clients? What things can I do to help people become more aware of what I'm doing. That could be advertising, could be word of mouth, could be other things. Or likewise, let's say people are aware of your product, but they're not buying your product. That means you have a sales problem. Sales now becomes the single variable that you isolate and within it has sub variables. And then you go and solve each one of these variables and see why you're not making sales. And for both Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, the solution to getting the best sales and best marketing is to make the best product. And that's simply because if you make something that is so good that people are fascinated by, they're going to go tell their friends and it's going to sell itself. And that's exactly why Tesla doesn't spend much money on advertising and why Amazon decided to, instead of charging people for shipping, they made shipping free. Basically took away money from advertising and put it to helping people get free shipping. And what that did is it made the product so good. So people told their friends and their friends told their friends and it just became a flyway. Now, the second thing that makes engineers really good at business is the idea of second order thinking and the understanding of consequences. For example, when you study engineering degree, you take a class called differential equations and you take a bunch of other math classes that really help you start understanding math and you start applying that math to your personal life if you really absorb it. And then you start realizing that that very often it's not the first order of consequences that really have the big damage. It's actually the second, third, fourth order consequences. And a big example of that is let's say you wake up in the morning and you check Instagram or TikTok very first thing in the morning. In the first order of consequence, let's say you spent 30 minutes on that app. Let's say you wake up and the first thing you do is you scroll social media for 30 minutes. Well, no big deal. You still have like, I don't know, you have 24 hours in the day. Let's say you slept for eight and you only spent 30 minutes scrolling. You still have 15 and a half hours for the rest of the day to do whatever you want. So from a linear perspective, you only lost like a small perspective. The only lost like really a small fraction, but the real damage happens in the second and third and fourth order consequences in that now that you spent this time on social media, very first thing in the morning, one, you depleted a lot of your dopamine reserves and now you're going to be seeking more instant gratification throughout the day. It's going to be harder for you to do things that are interesting and difficult. Now you're a bit more reactive. You're going to be less proactive. There's going to be some consequences aside from the time that you had lost. That's actually going to alter the quality of the hours later in the day and your whole day is probably going to suck. Now, likewise in business, like first order, second order, this is a very important thing that many entrepreneurs or business owners don't take care of. Another simple example is let's say you hire one bad employee and hiring that one bad employee. Again, the first order of that is okay. You might not have someone who's performing at their best, but you really need it to fill the role and it should be okay. But the second order consequence of that could be that that bad employee will be a bad influence on your other good employees. And now the whole company's morale and work ethic is going down and our whole company is going to fall apart in the second, third, fourth order consequence perspective, only because you only thought about the first order, which is like, oh, I just need an employee. I need someone to fill the role temporarily. And there's many examples of that, but the idea is that you're able to apply that mathematical thinking to business and personal life. Now, a third thing that separates engineers from other people is that engineers are very rational in their decision making. In engineering school, you're drilled with a lot of problem solving and thinking and analysis, and just you're basically relying heavily on logic. There's almost zero emotional training in an engineering degree. I mean, the only emotional training you get in an engineering degree is like, it's so hard and like, you just have to like learn to deal with it, you know? And business, just like life, is really just a game of decision decisions and the series of decisions that you make long enough basically determine your outcome. Obviously, there are other things such as like luck and probability and chance and other things of that nature. But overall, the one who consistently makes the best decisions over a long period of time will win. And engineers are more likely to make more rational decisions that are based on data, based on analysis, based on metrics, and not just kind of going based on like impulsive or emotional thought processes. So again, if you are someone studying engineering or considering doing an engineering degree, really just focus on doing learning the skills really well and, and try to absorb those skills, absorb the math and absorb 
the ways of thinking and decision making and don't just apply them to your assignments and your classes try to apply them to your everyday day-to-day -day life as well and going back on the second example that i gave in my opinion that the benefit i got from engineering degree first order was that it gave me like a really good job and degree and salary and things like that and, and learning and opportunities and all that but the second order consequence of doing an engineering degree was the fact that i learned how to think like an engineer and think analytically and think rationally and think using math and use mental models in my head when i make decisions i think that is far more valuable than the actual degree that i got now, i did make a video like a while back i think this was back when i was living in my parents basement and when i had just first started the channel and it was on why i think electrical engineering specifically had helped jeff bezos become a billionaire and you should go ahead and check it out over here it's a really good video it's back when i used to edit my videos it will not disappoint you peace love <laughs>